everyone for participating today in this wonderful educational opportunity. In just a matter of 10 to 15 minutes, you can learn so much by the presenters here today. Right now, as you begin to enjoy your lunch, I have the pleasure of introducing our Lieutenant Governor, Walter Dalton. Smith, and it's good to be here. I understand Mayor Anthony Fox was here earlier. I appreciate the great leadership he is giving to the city of Charlotte. You're going to hear from Mayor Terry Bellamy of Asheville a little bit later in the afternoon. Terry serves on the Logistics Task Force, which I chair. She provides great leadership also, and she is a determined advocate. Uh, the City of Asheville de developed a Youth Leadership Academy and is focused on African American young men and women grades 9 through 12. And we have two Latinos also participating this year. It's an internship program that we put in place and we've done three years successfully and we were just recently recognized by the Harvard Business School as one of the new bright ideas. Well, AT&T believed in the program so much that they gave all our students laptops. And so I want to say thank you to Cynthia to the voice owner for doing that, making that investment. In the promises and possibilities that digital empowerment can contribute to the improvement of the quality of life in America, particularly in communities of color. Accessibility to the internet and affordable broadband is no longer a luxury for most Americans today for a lifeline that enables those striving to get ahead to stay ahead as our society transitions to a digital-based economy. Not since the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century have we witnessed a social economic phenomenon with such overarching ability to rapidly improve the quality of life for millions of Americans by rebalancing the economic inequality that exists between the affluent and working class Americans. You know, I'm an avid listener of music. It relaxes me. Any type of music. Gospel, R&B, country and western, blues, jazz, even hip hop, because it soothes my soul. The lyrics of one of the day's young musical icons Jay-Z. I am especially fond of the cause of its frankness that I believe that can apply to today's social dilemma surrounding the quality of life in America, but particularly in America's underserved communities. Jay-Z has a lyric that says, men may lie, women may lie, but numbers don't lie. Our economy has experienced the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression.
Thank you.